We were taught another optical illusion. Let's see if everybody gets it. This is ten fingers, correct? How many fingers is this? Ten. ten. False. Okay. Our thumbs are opposals. That's called bilateral symmetry. There's an axis down the middle. These are 50-50. They're half of a whole, which is 100%. In other words, they're, they're, because they're mirrored, they're inverted. They're a reflection of each other. There's not 10 here. If the thumb had been over there, it would have been 10. But because the thumbs, because it shows that there's a focal center, an axis, a line in the middle, because it's based on spin physics, because there's a symmetry here, it's called parity, it's half. So, that, so we don't have 10 fingers. So the I claim to be able to make a man-made black hole on the laboratory workbench desktop. <laughs>
Um, I discovered, and it was very difficult, it took over 20 years with the help of other scientists, X, Z, and Y axis. Of course, these are mirror. I discovered how to make a coordinate system out of this that has nothing to do with the Cartesian system, coordinate system, and obsoletes all forms of existing today systems of, of how you grid or plot a matrix or lattice something. I discovered that multiplication series switched axes. Right now multiples of 1 and 8 are your vertical axis and multiples of 4 or 5 are your horizontal axis. So if this is a 4 here, this will be an 8. If that's a 5 there, it'll be a 1. Horizontal axis is that. So it's going in multiples of 4 that way. This is going in multiples of 4 that way. 2 plus 4 is 6. 6 plus 4 is 10 is 1. And the 1 in between it must be going in multiples of um, 5 or 4 the opposite direction. 4, 8. Do you follow that? You always have them staggered in between each other, like opposite and reaction. Eight. So diagonally, I found there's no horizontal lines. It's all diagonal lines. And I found that all multiplication series are intersected diagonally by doubling circuits. Okay? And I found that I found that this was a coil, a winding pattern for a toroid. That, and that energy could only flow through the sides of these types. And this is actually being reticulated from the center of the toroid. I actually was able to discover that shooting out of the center of the zero, right here, the reason everything was lining up horizontally was a non-bending particle. They, they call it spirit, prana, chi, soliton, monopole. How I was able to see this, the particle shooting through any of these numbers is all I had to do was take any number and it was making waves of nine around it. That always equaled the center. So it makes waves of nine all the way around it, regardless of whatever number you take. <laughs> because I discovered that numbers don't move, that they're stationary vector interstices, so. that when you have a diagonal, they can become smaller, okay, and they can also expand. It's a cheese cloth. Um, it's, not, it's an accordion. Okay, and so what I discovered is, is that it's one number per tile, and I was able to show how to map phi or, to hap, or pi or anything, where instead of always it being the same rigid rule, because at the equator, when Paul did, I'm not going to use it because we don't have it in front of us, um, at the inner diameter things are at their maximum compression, at the outer diameter things are at their maximum expansion, and that numbers work that way yeah. too. Oh, it's, a a small yeah. it's kind of a but it actually is supposed to be denser and denser. It's a feet yeah, right? yeah, that's not more. Yeah. It is. Um, it's just a torus. So as things get colder, things slow down. It's a time. Limit. So I just mentioned that because everything temperature affects time. So all this was just to prepare you for this. But I had promised you to go into vortexes, which are more fun. Uh, Yay! <laughs> We have the vortex. Are you ready? Okay. A hole disappears into nothing, but a black hole turns into a white hole. It decompresses out. Okay. Here's the Earth's magnetosphere in a toroid. Okay. These are all based on a vortex. Okay. Now, this is called a funnel. Are you having fun? There's the dandelion puffs. Principle, how the universe reprocesses itself, because I'm saying it's an ecological system. It comes out the nozzle, the jet, which is right through here, nature's hourglass, and decompresses, okay, and these are toroidal field coils, and decompresses and purifies, and it comes out again, all over again. There you go. There is your tornado. There is your vortex. It's compressing, going through the singularity where the energy shoots out from, and going out the white hole, and it'll come back and go again in a closed loop cycle that's ecological. And that's how the coil is made. But it's not made like this, it's made almost straight lines around the invisible nine that it's spinning around the vortex. Yeah, I'll show you how to do it real fast. You should just throw water before you drink it. Yeah, no, a lot of people sell machines that do that. So there's. They do that. In fact, they make a machine that costs forty thousand dollars. They say it puts back the life energy. All tied in with vortices, all the chakras, the meridians, all the holistic medicine. It's all tied in again to what? Where's Brian when we need him? Yeah.